Deadly clashes have erupted in Myanmar. Reports say several protesters have been killed after security forces fired live rounds to disperse demonstrators. It is the biggest crackdown yet since the military seized power in a coup nearly a month ago. Leong Waikit joining us live now. Uh, Waikit, you've been tracking the often bloody crackdowns all across the country today. Jill, it has been a very intensive, a very stressful day for many people in Myanmar as well as those watching from outside. Uh, you're going to be seeing pictures on your full screen in just a while. These pictures are taken from my Twitter account. They have been given to me by contacts. I've also retweeted uh, from local media. Many people who speak to me today have either just run away from tear gas or stun grenades or uh, uh, have just uh, uh, or are in hiding. Now, this one that you are seeing here, uh, this is from a contact in Mandalay. Um, this is taken while there was a protest in a hospital. And if you can just see right now here on the screen, police are outside the premises of this Mandalay hospital. Um, we are still trying to get a grasp of uh, the, the number of deaths that we have today. Uh, local media have reported at least four, but I'm at least uh, getting more and more updates from my contacts in Myanmar that there are more deaths. Now, this one you're seeing here, this footage is from my CNA uh, team on the ground running away from tear gas in one part of, uh, of, of Yangon. So you can get a sense of just how uh, challenging it is. Uh, and, and like you said, Jill, it is a very deadly day today. Uh, you also mentioned this is one month into the uh, coup. It is also a day before our leader Aung San Suu Kyi is expected to uh, appear in court to face her two charges. Uh, why could you also manage to secure uh, an interview with a member of the ousted lawmakers committee for his take? Yeah, that's right. This is Dr. Sasa, who is uh, uh, the UN representative. He's appointed by the committee representing Pidang Suluto. Pidang Suluto is a union government in Burmese. Uh, we spoke on a range of topics. Uh, he told me that uh, the CRPH is going to form an interim government in the coming days. Uh, we also talked about today's deadly violence. He said it's unacceptable. Um, but I also told him that there are many protesters who seem to not back down in the face of deadly uh, danger and violence, and I asked him what his direct message to protesters is. Let's take a listen. It's better to die than to live under military oppressive regime. Yeah, we all have experienced how bad they are. We have understand how cruel they are, and we have experienced the torture, the rape, the killing, the forced labor for many, many years. You know, how many years should we live under them again? So the people of Myanmar will never give up, will never surrender until unless we get freedom and democracy. So I also asked Dr. Sasa what level of sacrifice he's willing to make for Myanmar. And he says that he will do his best to bring justice and democracy to the country.